Earth Materials and Archaeometry Center's mission is to foster research focusing on societal needs. There are basically three key areas of research uh, at the center. Uh, one's on critical metals research, one is on the rise and fall of, of civilizations, and the third is the, the impact of climate on ancient human populations and animals, including dinosaurs. Critical metals are important because we are transitioning from a fossil fuel-based energy society to a more green energy society. These critical metals are generally associated with some kind of technology industry or manufacturing industry. Our research at the center so far has concentrated on critical metals such as uranium, lithium, and rare earth elements, and beryllium. And we work with several industry partners to explore and develop techniques for the exploration of these critical metals. EMAC's interdisciplinary research transcends the boundaries of one specific discipline. We can rely on the expertise of, of our members, which have backgrounds in biology, chemistry, archaeology, geology, and material science. We are not bound to ask very specific questions. We can ask really broad scientific questions that transcend all of these different disciplines. My research program is focused on biomineralization, so the development, the evolution, and the ecology of hard tissues such as bones and teeth. In EMAC, we examine fossils at a microstructural, even a nanostructural level, and at a geochemical level in order to try to understand what the lives of these animals were like millions of years ago. So by understanding how animals lived in the past in a world that was very different from the world today, we can actually use that information to predict what might happen in the future. Once the planet is continuously changing, we can try to predict how humans and other animals will react to those environmental and climate changes. My work intersects with that of Dr. Julia Gamble, who looks at human populations and medieval populations and indicators of stress or how past environmental changes might have affected those populations. So with an understanding of what's going on, in humans, we can actually apply that information even farther back into the fossil record to look at what types of stressors might have been affecting animals that were millions of years old, around way before humans appeared. Biological anthropology is necessarily interdisciplinary in nature. I'm a human osteologist, a dental anthropologist, and a bioarchaeologist. And this means I study the human skeleton with a focus on dental microscopy, looking at teeth under a microscope. And I study these from the archaeological context. So I integrate what the archaeology can tell us about the environment people were living in. So without an interdisciplinary approach, biological anthropology would be really limited in its scope. The facilities at EMAC provide both improve microscopic capacity and also the capacity for chemical analyses that allows me to better understand those structures. And so not only are the analytical capacities here, but the expertise, uh, the collaborations are really fruitful in cross-pollinating ideas and knowledge and allowing us to look at these questions in entirely new ways. The objectives of EMAC and archaeology largely surround the physical and chemical traces of human behavior. That's effectively what we want to do. We want to take a look into the environment and objects that were created by people and extract as much information as possible. Ceramic technology is uh, an, an interesting technology because it's been around for at least 30,000 years. But in the last 30 years, there's been a greater interest in trying to understand the technological style or how things are made, the very specific ways things are made. And in order to do that, we actually need more than archaeology can tell. We need more than the object's appearance can tell us. We need to actually get into the object itself. Archaeology, I, I think, is an inherently interdisciplinary approach to, to the past. It has to be, because we have to understand or attempt to understand everything. And that's the real exciting part uh, about this center, is that uh, we finally have kind of a formal envelope to, to put all of us, rather than us wandering about in science trying to answer questions. <laughs>